Hi guys and welcome to another quick video tutorial here on the Kiki and Manny Photography blog. My name is Manny and today I want to show you guys a quick technique how to work quicker in Bridge. Most of us go out and shoot, come back home, upload our images to the computer and sort our images and Bridge and select the best shots from Bridge and start photoshopping. Now in Bridge you mostly have two ways of selecting the best shots. One is with giving your, uh, your images a star rating and the other one is giving your images some labels. Now I want to show you guys quickly what I do mostly and how I work with my star rating and if you want to with labels. Now I'm currently in Bridge and I'm already in my content area as you guys can see at the top and I have all my images right in front of me from the whole shooting. So what I'm going to do now is select the first image and underneath my image you can see these five points here. Now this means it is actually a star rating area so you can click onto say two points and it will give it two stars or three stars or five stars or if you just want to just deselect all of that you go next to the first star and click onto here their small round white ball appears and they are deselected again. So say for instance now I'm going to select the best shot out of these images. So why, how am I doing this? I'm hitting spacebar to see my images nice and big. Then I'll hit go left and right with my cursors, go left and right and select say the best image. Now I'm not giving all my images say directly a 5 star. What I mostly do is give my images 1 star. Then from 1 star, 3 stars, and from 3 stars, 5 stars. Then I really know, okay, my images with 5 stars are really, really good images. So what I mostly do then is either hit 1 star with the, on, the, on the point system here with the mouse, click on there, or you're also able to click 1 on your keyboard or say 2, 3, 4, or 5. So that will also give it a numbering a star system. So say 1 again and I'm going on with my images, selecting the best images. So I'm going to hit spacebar again and go through them again. And I don't like that, go back and forth. Then I see this one, okay, this one looks maybe okay, not so good, then maybe this one. So I'm going to select this one with one star again. Going to hit spacebar again and give it a one star. So say after some time, I have a few images that have one star. I'm not going to select good ones now, it's just for the tutorial, just select random ones now. So I selected in my whole folder images with one star. Now this means obviously that they have to be good for me. Okay, so what I'm doing after that step is on the side here under my filtering system in the ratings, I'm going to tick off just this thing saying one star. So I'm going to put an uh, arrow right in front of the one star and directly in my content area you notice that Bridge provides me with just the images that have one star. So I'm able to see only these selected, one, selected ones that I really want to see. Now I'm going onto my first image again, hit spacebar and select the best image from here. So say for instance this is a nice shot, then I'm going to hit on my keyboard 3 to give it a nice 3 again. I don't see it at the moment because I have to go to my filtering system under ratings and tick off this in the front again. So the error is there directly, it shows me the all images with 1 star rating and 3 star rating. Directly you also notice it here, my image is back, I've got the image again with 3 stars. So say for instance as well I select this shot and it should also be 3 stars. So what I'm going to do now is uncheck this area here with the arrow right in front of the 1 star and I directly in the content area Bridge shows me all images with 3 stars. And now from this 3 stars the last step that I do is say for instance I'm going through them again, hit spacebar, go through them and I see okay this is my final shot, I love this shot. So I'm going to give it a 5 and it's gone. And now in my rating system on the left hand side here, I tick off this, tick the arrow right in front of the 5 stars and untick that arrow and directly I see, okay, this is my final image and I love this image. So I know, okay, maybe I'm going to work just with this image. If you want to see all your images, you are welcome to tick off all of these arrows here in the front. So it shows you no rating images, it shows you images with 1 star, with 3 stars, 5 stars. So I just work with these 3 systems, not with 2 or 4 stars, just 1, 3 and 5. So this is one way of doing it. Then you've got another way of doing it with giving your images color. So if I'm going to select the first image now and I'm hitting 6, now it gives me a red. And on the left hand side you directly see red means no go, 
so this is an image that I don't want to use at all. Then I'm going to select the next image and I'm going to press 7 on my keyboard and it gives me a yellow line. So this means it's uh, not too bad on the left hand side here. Then select the next image and I'm going to hit 8 on my keyboard. It says green so this means it's approved. It's a really good image and I want to use this image. Then I'm going to go back, select the next image and I'm going to hit 9 and it gives me a blue label. So on the side it means a maybe and you are able to change these names as well if you want to. This is just my way of working with this stuff. So I always, if I see my images and I see a red one then I know exactly it's a no-go. Yellow is a not too bad, green is approved and a blue one is a maybe. So you are able to work with the, these labeling systems plus you are also able to select these images. I'm going to hit shift now and select all of four of them and you're also able to hit on your keyboard three, five or four to give it a star rating again. Now four, now they're gone because I haven't ticked here underneath the error right in the front of my four stars. So they are gone, I'm going to tick off that and directly you see your images again. So just bear in mind whatever is ticked off here on the side that will be shown. So how do you get all your stuff that it works like this? You will have to go to Adobe Bridge here at the top, go to Preferences, and in Preferences a new window will come up, will mostly look like this on your screen general. You will have to go to Labels, and in Labels you will have to tick off this box here at the top. Otherwise, if you want to press a quick numbering system on your keyboard, you will always have to hold Command or Control for Windows PC. So to get rid of that, just untick this box here at the top, and directly you notice, okay, 6, 7, 8, and 9, that means for the coloring system, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for stars. Plus, you are also able to rename your labels in here. Just type in here, put backspace, and type in your name. For mine, I had, for the red labels, I had no go, yellow, I had not too bad, green, approved, and blue, maybe, plus purple is a review. I never use purple that much because it has no numbering system on your keyboard, so you will have to hit right click, find label, and give it a label. I'm quickly going to show you that, but f to finish off this, type in your stuff. When you're done, just hit OK down here, and you're good to go. Then on the side, you directly see all your labels as well. Once you've selected your images with the labels, just tick the labels again and directly it will also works like the stars. You, The ones you've ticked it off here in the front, it only shows you in the content area the image with your green or approved label. So say at last stage you have your image with five stars and it's green. So then you untick all of this and you just have your labels approved, ticked that off and your image rating or uh, you, your star rating ticked off as well and directly in your content area you see your images with five stars and a green label so this means that you have the perfect image to photoshop on and you happy with this selected shot so i'm going to quickly blend it all tick off all labels again and tick off the non ratings the three stars four and five stars so you see all of your images again now, when you're in your content area, you can also hit Command and just select uh, individual ones, or you're able to hit Shift, and select the first one, hold Shift, and select the last one, and it will select all of them. Or you're also able to select just one, and you're also able to hit Command A or Control A for Windows to select all of them again. Plus, you're also able to go to right click and go all the way down in label and say no label, not too good, not bad, approved maybe and review if you don't want to use your keyboard system. So go to not too bad and all of these images will be have or will have a yellow label plus you able on the keyboard now to hit four or five to give all of these images five stars and you directly know, okay, all of these images are perfect, you want to give them a go. Now to get rid of everything again, you are still able to uh, press 0 on your keyboard to give it a no star rating. And if you want to get rid of the labels, just hit right click, go to labels down here all the way. And in labels, go to no labels at all. And it will deselect all labels again. And you are fresh from the start again and you have just, you have selected nothing and there are no labels at all. Then also on the side here at the top, you're able to select the small arrow here and work through some of this stuff here. First, just bear in mind, you have to select your images be and then go to the star rating and then you can tap this 
stuff here show one or more stars, show four or more stars and five. Or show or reject items only or show unreated items only and show labeled items or show unlabeled items. So you also are welcome to work with the star rating at the top or use your shortcuts via the side here and use your shortcuts via right click and the keyboard. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys a little bit. Thank you for watching. My name is Manny and hope to see you next week on another Technical Wednesday Rundown here on the Kiki and Manny Photography blog. Thank you guys. Bye bye.